by now you've probably spent some quality time with your Axes and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But here are seven things you need to do with them. There's nothing quite like arriving in a new Assassin's Creed world, ignoring the story and heading out to find and discover things. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is no different, and every gold and blue dot across England is a new and exciting adventure. Unlike the question marks of Origins and Odyssey, blue spots mark a mystery side quest or activity like Standing Stones or Offering Stone, while gold indicates some shiny wealth like silver, gear, or precious ingots. But what should you do first? Where should you go? And what shouldn't you miss? Other than Logitech G videos, of course, which you won't if you hit subscribe now. Now though, here are seven things you need to do in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Scal. First off, this is a simple one, but if you haven't already unlocked the advanced assassination skill, you're going to want to. To balance the fact that you shouldn't always be able to assassinate all enemies with a press of a button, Valhalla has a skill that gives you the chance to be able to do it with a press of two buttons. Upgrade to this skill in your huge skill tree and you'll unlock a mini game that lets you tap the assassinate button again to effortlessly murderize your foes when the marker is in the highlighted area. It's worth saying too that you can even dodge certain boss battles if you manage to stealth your way into the situation and go for an air assassination. But even just taking down Goliaths is seriously satisfying. Remember too that you can always respec your skill tree in a way that fits your playstyle, which is very handy. <laughs> Maybe it's a given, but finding books of knowledge and specking up your abilities is always worth it. It's these hidden away tomes that will give you all the super abilities that you've been used to in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Whether it's that mega powered kick or just absolutely glorious axe throwing. These abilities are essential when it comes to combat. Unless you're raiding and find one with a key, you'll probably need to solve a movement puzzle to reach each one. There are a stack of them to find, so just remember when you're hunting them down that this is the most destructible that Assassin's Creed has ever been. Use Odin's sight to see glowing red locks to fire arrows at through windows, and remember that certain wood just needs an arrow to be smashed. Oh, and explosive flaming pots are your new best friend. New leather. Sure, you could fish with the line that the adorable kid at the fishing hut in your settlement gave you, but where's the fun in that? I've never even seen this fish close up. The fish that you'll find in rivers and ponds across the world are all necessary for those fishing hut prizes. While you could just stand at the side and wait for them to bite, it's far more fun to use your bow and arrow or just jump in and start swinging your axe. Oh, and if you're looking for specific fish in specific areas, merchants across England will happily sell you copies of fantastic fish and where to find them. These will then end up in your somehow impossibly full inventory bag. Hey, fishy, fishy, fishy. Now this is a bit of a later game goal, but it's no less important. Hidden in your skill tree is the ability to dual wield those heavy weapons that previously required two hands to hammer into skulls. It's worth saying that the stats will change somewhat when you are holding both a Carolingian longsword and an enormous axe. But why does that matter when you can destroy everyone in sight with the biggest weapons? Note though that you really won't be able to be as light on your feet with these two, so remember that parrying is your friend when you are exhausting your viking biceps. But just look at how good you'll look, especially if you get your hands on our next item. Yes, 
that Excalibur. It's absolutely possible to find the mythical sword of the legendary King Arthur, but you'll have to keep chipping away at it as you go through the game. Eleven tablets are hidden across England. Some are deep in cave systems known as the Treasures of Britain, while others are lurking in the pockets of zealots that stalk the roads. Given that each region has a specific power level you'll want to be at, how difficult each zealot is will depend on how far you have progressed through the game. If their health bar has red over it, let's just say it's not going to be a particularly fun fight, as they can already be a bit of an agility requiring nightmare. A good feast with fresh battle milk on your brows is not something you will ever taste again. Choke on my bones. The Treasures of Britain caves are all movement puzzles, so keep an eye out for white markings to jump to and for things to destroy along the way. Once you've got all 11, head to a cave northwest of Stonehenge, descend into a vault, and claim your prize. Ooh, shiny. Given the size of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it's always important to jump on your mount and head off at a gallop instead of a walk. Remember then not just to invest in a stable at your settlement, but also to teach your horse, or wolf, to swim. You're a fast learner. While we don't recommend swimming in frosty Norway, it's a much easier way to cross rivers, and at the stable you can also switch out your raven too. If you link up to your Ubi account, you can get new mounts and ravens. And if you connect your Amazon Prime gaming account, there's even a pigeon to be found. Who needs a raven when you can be this cool? Rest your wings, son. Now finally, this is a serious endgame activity, but yes, you can grab yourself Thor's armor and his trusty hammer, Mjolnir. You'll just need to do a lot of killing first, and we mean a lot. Not only do you have to fight the three daughters of Larian in battle, they're represented by a horned mask on the map, and no, the fights aren't pretty. For the pieces of Thor's armor, you also need to make your way through all 45 Order of the Ancients on your kill list. You'll get Thor's breeches, torso, armor, and gauntlets from Reagan, Goneril, and Cordelia, and then Thor's helmet from a chest in this location. The King's Fortune, guarded well by his wayward daughters. It's just the cape that requires all 45 evildoers murdered, so this is definitely one for the back burner. Once you've got all the pieces of your armor on though, head to this point in Norway and you'll be able to claim your electrical prize. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. So, that's seven things you need to do in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let us know your essential Viking tips in the comments below, and drop us a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to Logitech G and blow that horn, wait, ring that bell to make sure you never miss a video from us again.